Today we're gonna see how to symmetrize a mesh with symmetrical topology in Maya and in Blender. In Maya we have a couple of tools to do that. Maya is pretty good with um, topology based tools. There's a lot of that. It's quite easy but there might be some problems and I'm gonna show you how to solve these uh, issues. The tools are basically flip and uh, symmetrize. They're all selection based and the way it works is a bit counterintuitive. Whatever is selected, it is what is going to be taken as a reference to mirror to the other side of the topology. Basically, whatever you have in the selection is not going to be affected. So in this case, if I want to mirror the left side to the right side, I have to select the left side. With the left side selected, I'm just gonna click symmetrize and pick the edge in the middle. And this is the result. So we can see one of the issues that we have here. The problem is that the middle edge line is not perfectly straight. So every time it goes on one side or the other, there's gonna be an overlap. And we can solve this by uh, basically average the position of the, of the vertices. We can do that using the other tool, Flip. We're gonna also use a blend shape so we can use the, the weights of the blend shape to mask out the areas that we don't want to be changed. Or we can just average all vertices position in case we need that. Let's duplicate this mesh. Yeah, we have to select everything and just go under edit mesh and flip. Is that we select the edge in the middle. Using the flip, it's causing one issue that basically we want, since we want to an average of the vertices position on one side and the other, we have to make sure that the flipped mesh is identical to the mesh scale to minus one. And in this case, if I bring this to zero and I overlap the two meshes, you can see that there is a small offset. So we have to fix this offset. And what we can do is just going to uh, into vertex mode and then select first one vertex somewhere where we can easy that we can easy track on the other mesh too. Um, so we select these two vertices and then under modify we just go under uh, snap align objects and pick point to point. And now we have the two meshes that are perfectly aligned. So we have to select the one that we, uh, that has got this offset and we have to uh, freeze the transformations here. Okay, so now we have the mesh that it's flipped on the other side as, it, as if it was scaled on the X axis. In case I want an average vertex, I can add a blend shape here and then set the blend shape to 0.5. And then I got basically a symmetrical mesh with the average of the left side and the right side. But in case we want to um, just having one side mirror to the other side, we can mask the maps and then we can play with the weights to have a nicer fall off in the middle line. So let's set this to one. I'm gonna pick this side I'm gonna mirror the left side over the right side. So I have to set the values of the blend shape here to zero because that's the side that I want to be like the original. So just get here, select the vertices, get into paint mode and click replace. The tool options there, replace and then float it to zero. And now we have the same issue that we had before, but if we select the middle line and then grow the selection a couple of times and then get back into paint mode for the blend shape, 
and change the value to 0 0.5 basically now I'm averaging the vertex position of these two of the uh, of the selection in, in the middle so not now what I can do I can invert the selection uh, select inverse and change the tool to smooth and just smooth out a few times until there is a very nice blurred line where the vertices are not overlapping and now I have a symmetrical I mirror the right side over to the left side I believe and we can still have the blend shape so we can see whatever it is happening yeah so left side over the right side and if I duplicate the mesh and scale it on the X side it should be perfectly overlapped yeah so that's how you do it in my let's see how to do the same thing in blender so first thing we have to do is to duplicate this mesh and we can move it to the side here and then we're gonna scale it on the x-axis and we are gonna apply the scale only the scale because what I want the of course I don't want the location to be to not be at zero we have an extra step to do is that if we check the normal or the phase orientation we'll see that the normals of the polygons here are inverted so we have to select everything press alt n and then flip the sides and now we have the mesh mirror to the other side but what is going to happen if we just try make a shape key with this mesh um, of course it's not going to work because the vertex order is not right so what is going to happen the mesh is going to flip to the other side which is what is expected to do so now we're going to use an add-on the add-on that I mentioned before and it's called transfer vertex order I posted a link in the description you can go to the Gumroad and download it for free don't be shy to send them some money to the creator because it did a good job so the UI is going to change in edit mode we're basically going to select two polygons on the original mesh and copy the vert ID I will recommend to pick an area where there is a star so we can easily track the polygons on the other side remember the order of selection so there is a star here I'm going to select the lower phase first and then the upper phase second and copy the vert ID and then I'm going to move in edit mode here and I'm going to select first the lower phase and the upper phase second and then paste the vertex ID now if I join the mesh as a shape key I have the mesh that it's basically is gonna flip to the other side and yeah so if I put the blend shape uh, the shape key to 0 0.5 this mesh is basically the average of the left and the right if we want to copy one side over the other we have to use vertex groups to mask the shape key I'm gonna create a vertex group for the left side so basically I gonna copy the right side over to the left one thing that I forgot to mention is that I basically do selection sets using edge seams so if I want to quickly uh, select one half of the mesh what I can do is select the edges in the middle press ctrl E and mark them as a seam now if I am in uh, face mode and I over on the area that I want to select and press L it will only select half of the mesh I use this a lot I do it in Maya as well I just cut the UVs and I create selection sets with that using the UV shell as a, as a selection mode now I'm gonna create a new group and then with the polygons selected I'm gonna assign the weight 
needs to be at one just make sure that this is at one and that assign then if i want to see uh the values of the vertex map i can just go here and display the the vertex group and here like the red area is one the blue area is zero so now if i if i use the ver select this vertex group in the shape key i basically have only the left area is going to be affected so now let's see how we can do we have the same problem that we had with maya so let's see how we can just smooth out this map and keep the symmetry so i'm just gonna get back into polygon selection mode reset the shape key to zero and i'm gonna select the edge line in the middle And then with shift, I can convert this selection into vertices. And then with control plus, I can grow the selection a couple of times. And I'm gonna assign 0 0.5 as a value here. And this should solve a bit the problem. But what if I want to smooth the areas here, I just have to get into weight paint. And then, um, yeah, it's better to keep the blend shape at zero because it's going to remove the, the vertex group when I try to run the smooth. Here I can set the factor and the iteration. I will set the factor to 0 0.5 and then the iteration 20, I think. It's good enough. And expand, contract, just make sure it's at zero because otherwise you're going to lose the symmetry. And let's apply this. And now we have basically the map, uh, the blend shape, the symmetry of the, the right side to the left side. Yeah, let's see if the mesh is symmetrical. You can scale it here to minus one. Select both meshes. And they seem to be quite aligned in Blender is a bit difficult to see, but it looks like they are quite similar. I think it worked. I can delete this one. And let's see one more thing. So now I have this, that it's, what if I want to do the right side? The cool thing about Blender is that I can easily duplicate the vertex group and I can also mirror in this case I would recommend to do it with the topology I can rename this right and pick the right side so now I'm basically mirroring the left side over to the right side oh it will look better if I display a solid without the face orientation yeah so that's that's how you do it